Hi guys, this is a kind of follow-on video. Um, I did a review obviously of the um, Microsoft wireless adapt card connected to my uh, 4K TV and now I've had a bit more time to play around with it and um, use it for some video editing, just kind of want it to do kind of like a follow-up. So um, on the screen you can see at the minute there's a picture that I've done. This is uh, zoomed right in as far as, uh, as Microsoft, uh, I don't know what this is, application called, whatever it's called, viewer, photo viewers um, can do. So I kind of pan that back to original size. There you go, so it kind of gives you the, the idea of how far you can zoom in. That photo might look a little bit grainy when I zoom back, I purposely put grain on it um, in order to uh, make it look from the from the Second World War era. Um, this is a uh, World War II uh, veteran day we went to. So just um, to kind of show you um, a bit more about it. So I'm using Photoshop, so it's uh, obviously Elements 13. So you can pick the software up for about 40, between 40 and 70 quid um, if you really shop around. And um, it's great for amateur photo editing. Um, it's better than uh, any application I've used. So you've got things like Adobe CS6, which is a full developer suite, which, which I have got and I do use. But for, for quick editing, this gives you all the uh, photo features that you kind of need on a daily basis. It's a pretty good piece of software, so I'd advise you to uh, check it, it'll run on your machine and, and go out and get a copy. It works on Mac and also on uh, on Windows. So it works on Windows 8 and Windows 10. It's not showing you supported on 10, but I haven't had any uh, any issues yet. So just load into the photo editor. Sometime this week. That's if I click it properly, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's just loading in there. So then I'll just kind of pick a pick a picture. So um let's go back to my folder. So what you can do is you can just drag and drop and drop the photo in. Now if you've shot in RAW this will load up all the uh, RAW details so you can tweak the contrast, um, uh, obviously everything. So colour, contrast, lights, darks, shades, exposure. Um, so obviously this has already gone into the picture. So I'm going to kind of show, so this is me sat on the sofa in the living room using my TV and doing a bit of photo editing. So. The benefit of this for me is, is rather than being sat in my office upstairs um, at my work desk, being, being in, that, in that environment, I can just come down, put some music on, chill on the sofa, um, do some photo editing, and then if the family come in and they want to watch, use it or watch the TV, um, then I can just take my tablet upstairs, obviously disconnect it um, from the uh, uh, TV, from the, uh, from the connection, take it upstairs, dock it, and then continue with, with my editing. So. Um, what I am able to do, because I'm doing this on a tablet, I can just um, pinch in or pinch out to zoom, which is pretty good. And if I rotate my fingers the other way, what I can then do is I can actually sp spin the photo around. So again, this isn't really a review of any software or hardware as such. It's just kind of show you what I'm what I'm using this application for. So again, the effects and the quality is going to be down to what device you're using, also what TV you've got. As I mentioned, this is a Samsung, last year's high-end uh, Samsung 4K TV. But just to give you an idea on this setup that I'm running, of, of kind of how uh, how much you can zoom in and the quality you can retain, is I'll just show you on the screen so you get a reference point. That is a stylus. So this. Is the size on the screen? You can still see all the detail. Yeah, it's a tiny bit pixely, which you'd expect. But uh, you know, the ability for me to zoom in and uh, enlarge a photo is, is really impressive. Um, so again, like I said, I don't I'm not reviewing the software, but for example, on this one because it's a Second World War, I don't only use these effects, but uh, what I can do is just pick a. Uh, a type of newspaper finish, um, add to just a turn, add a bit of text just to make it look like it's from the time, add a bit of hue and saturation. So again I'm just using the stylus for all this stuff and my fingers, hit OK. So there we go, I've just simply kind of made it look a bit more from the era, um, zoom in, zoom out. The with this software you've got other effects, I don't really use them that much so I can't really uh, go through them in too much detail but it's really good it does give you some kind of a ability to play with photos um, to an extent um, without having to be an expert and that's why it's quite good for amateur photographers you can kind of do all these different different 
um, tweaks and tunes if you want to. Like I said, I normally run it in expert mode and do a do a thing manually if I'm doing it on my tablet. But you know, really, really good piece of a piece of software. Um, and like I said, it gives me the freedom to uh, to edit how and when I how and when I choose um, using tablet technology um, and and you know supporting devices around me such as such as the TVs. Um, I mentioned before this is a Samsung. It's either I think it's a HU eight thousand five hundred. Um, worth a look at, um, definitely because you can pick this TV up now for about sixteen hundred pounds. It was last year's um, flagship model. Get it for about sixteen hundred pounds with a five year warranty. So I got this this model from Crampton and Moore. Um, so I've got a local store, and like I said, you know that that five year warranty is great. You know, gives it gives a peace of mind. My previous Samsung TV lasted a year and a month, and then the uh, power supply went on it. So. Uh, I'd never really thought much about extended warranties before, but but definitely, you know, on on when you're spending that kind of money, it's definitely worth a, worth looking at those. Um, so that's it, really. Just want to kind of give you a bit more of a of a feel for what I'm uh, using it for, the application. So it might give you an idea where you could use it yourself. Um, could stream some films as well. So I'll do another little little uh, mini film showing uh, showing it streaming some kind of a uh, some movies, so you can see the quality and uh, see what you can do there. Thanks for watching my review. Um, Stay tuned for more. Bye.